Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about authority. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to use qualifications in order to determine the authority and or reliability of a given source. Now, we've already spoken about many different tools relating to checking the authority of a source. This is just another tool for your toolkit. In other words, you're going to find that this might be a little bit more complicated than other uh, tools that I've given you in the past. But just remember, this is not something that you must use. It's something that you may use if you feel like the situation calls for it. So let's go ahead and get started. This website here is whois.com. Whois.com is going to allow you to search domains and then locate their registration records. In other words, you're going to get to find out where various domains are geographically located and registered. This can give us a little bit of insight into the potential bias or reliability of a source. So let's say that I found this article on Russia Today, RT.com. I'm going to see that the headline here is Vladimir Putin decisively re-elected as Russian president after 99% of votes counted. And what I'm going to notice immediately is that there's no author, meaning I now need to check for the authority um, and the qualifications of the source. Well, what I could do potentially is I could say, you know, this title seems a little bit fishy. For example, it makes no mention of the fact that, sure, he decisively was reelected, but also that the main three opposition parties that could have potentially challenged Putin uh, were not actually allowed to run in the election. So what I might do is I might say, I wonder where RT is based, right? Sure, this is an English medium uh, news outlet, but I wonder where it comes from. So what I would do is simply copy the URL. I would go to whois.com. I would paste the URL right here, and then I would click search. And what I'm going to find is very quickly, I'm going to find that the city in which it was, uh, or excuse me, in which the domain is registered is Moscow. And I'm also going to find more information with respect to the registrant contact. Again, this is now something that I can dig deeper into. So if I'm suspicious about the sort of coverage that a particular article or source is offering, I might want to double check the qualifications to say, where is this domain registered? And in doing so, again, I can find out Moscow, so I can say, mm, this might not be totally reliable. I can also do further research into checking out the name or the organization. All right, guys, another tool for your toolkit.